All right, everybody, welcome back to Binary Adventure. And in this tutorial, or actually, this is going to be more of an, uh, just a fun, fun with address sanitizer and undefined behavior sanitizer video. Um, we've kind of covered the basics, so I think we're going to just show different situations uh, and just kind of show how address sanitizer and associated tools help you find bugs. So it'll be fun because we get to see different types of bugs and what happens. So, so in this file here, um, I created a pretty messed up program on purpose. Uh, it's pretty buggy. Um, but let's just kind of look at high level what's going on here. So it tells the user that they need to storage a, a large amount of data soon. And the allocator works with large chunks. How many large chunks do you want to allocate? And then it asks you for the user for a number. Um, so the number is small, so I, you know, I use the integer here, um, num chunks. So, you know, you might want to do two, three, four, five different, you know, five large chunks, right? Um, the chunk size is this many bytes, which is pretty absurd. Um, it's not going to work. Passing that to malloc, right? Um, but then I thought, to, you know, what happens if you just put zero? You know, then we're going to malloc zero. See what happens then. So there's some experimentation room here. Um, and then what it does, just as a proof of concept, what it tries to do is it actually, it opens up a file called file.bin and it tries to read that file into the memory that we allocated using memset. Uh, and then, or, and rather after it reads that, it then uses memset to try to modify some of the memory as well after it's been read, like overwrite it with some other types of bytes, the first 500 bytes here so we're doing a read you know we're doing a malloc we're doing a read and then we're doing a memory operation a mem set and then I free it and uh, you know so we'll see what happens so um, the first thing I want to do is compile the program and uh, I did it earlier so I want to show you something so if I compile the program like this I have w all and W error, because you always hear people yelling at you. Um, you know, you should always be compiling with, you know, W all W error. That'll force as many warnings as possible from the compiler. And it will also, if anything's a warning, it won't even compile. That's what W error does. It, it turns warnings into errors and it won't compile. Well, unfortunately, look, it just, it just compiled. <laughs> they didn't. It didn't give us any warnings at all or errors and it didn't catch any of this stuff and that's you know that's what happens with c and c plus plus the compiler just it can't catch these types of errors because they're runtime problems um and so you know we're just like oh program's probably fine and then we try to run it so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to do f sanitize equals address for address sanitizer and then i'm also going to do f sanitize equals undefined so what I did there is um, there's something called undefined behavior sanitizer, which is another sanitizer. And um, it there is some overlap, I think, with address sanitizer and the stuff that it can find, but it also finds some things that address sanitizer doesn't. Here's a list. I'll probably put this in the description. This is a list of stuff that it can find. Um, misaligned pointers, mode of bool value, which is neither true nor false, um, out of bounds array indexing, in the case where the array bound can be statically determined. Um, float cast overflow, divide by zeros, um, null, use of null pointer, creation of null reference, signed integer overflow, and a bunch of other stuff. So this is all stuff that's considered undefined behavior in C. Okay, so um, I just built with all that. So let's go ahead and run this bad boy. So let's try to do uh, <laughs> three chunks. So let's see what we got here. It says runtime error, sign integer overflow, three times that cannot be represented in type long int. And then it says address sanitizer failed to allocate that many bytes. And then it terminated the process and it gave us a backtrace at that mallet call. 
So there's a couple things that happen here. Um, it looks like undefined behavior sanitizer caught this, uh, there's an integer overflow, which is funny because that's not even what we were planning on. You know, we, we knew that there was some bad memory stuff here, but it turns out there's also another bug. And this bug's a little bit more subtle. So, um, in fact, we don't even have a long int here. So it's a little bit confusing as to what's going on. We have a size T's, we have an int. Um, so if we don't know what's going on here, what we could do is just take a look. So what I'm going to do now is recompile this without that stuff. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did. I'm going to say three and then a core dump. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say core dump CTL GDB. And it's going to drop us in GDB so we can see what is going on. Um, and then I'm going to say BT, get me the backtrace. And then I'm going to say frame. And it looks like, obviously this happened in main because we only have main. We don't really have any other functions. So I'll do frame one. And then look, it has us on this line right here. Um, let's see. So that's the mem set line. Let's see what else I can get. So, assert FP, so it looks like it actually got to the memset line, and then that's when it stopped. However, what's going on here? is that this num chunks so let's look back up here real quick let's see let's see what we got going on um, okay so it says the energy overflow happened on line 16 Let's go to line 16. Ah, it's this line. So there's something wrong here. So um, let's look at the types here. So chunk size doesn't really have a type per se. It's just this hard-coded number. And then num chunks is an integer. So what happened here is uh, we overflowed it because the integer can't hold, I don't even think an integer can hold this value, let alone three times this value. So let's try something else here. Instead of using an integer, let's try a size T because malloc takes a size T anyway and a size T is much larger, should be eight bytes of data instead of four which is what an integer is. So let's just write this guy. And then let's try this one more time. Let's see. Let's instrument it again. Oh, okay. So now I need to change my format. So now you can see here that I am doing a scanf and that's not correct anymore. So let's fix that. LU is the proper for a size T. Okay, let's do this again. There we go. So let's run it. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so this time we actually don't get that integer overflow. So we fix that. Now, address sanitizer is saying we can't allocate that amount of memory failed to allocate that. Because remember, the address sanitizer provides its own allocator. So the allocators caught the fact that we were trying to allocate way too much. So let's try something else now. Let's try to run it again. And then we'll enter zero this time. Okay, now we just caused another problem. This is buggy fun.
So now it says we have a heat buffer overflow right of size 500. Okay, so this is actually a different bug. So the first bug that we uh, dealt with was the integer overflow. Then the second bug there was that we were trying to malloc too much memory, which was failing. And address sanitizer caught that. Now malloc actually succeeded, but we allocated basically nothing. And then we tried to memset it right here. We tried to write 500 bytes of uh, the character A or hex 41 into a size, you know, a memory which didn't have enough space allocated to uh, receive it. And so and that's what the heat buffer overflow is. See, it says write of size 500. And then it says this is located zero bytes to the right of a one byte region. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the so malloc actually returned successfully and it basically gave us nothing. And then we tried to write a whole bunch of stuff into that, which caused the heat buffer overflow. And again, if you scroll down here, we can see what's going on. You can see how the shadow memory shows that we have only one addressable byte here. So um, it looks like perhaps Malik actually gave us one byte instead of nothing. Um, either way, it's, it's not big enough to hold what we were trying to copy. So we ended up trying to copy way out here into this um, heat left red zone area here. You can see right here, the heat left red zone. So yeah, that's this is a pretty buggy program. We had at least three bugs here. Um, and I just wanted to show you how address sanitizer and undefined behavior sanitizer deal with those things. So if you want to do uh, undefined behavior sanitizer, it's called UBSAN. Um, you just do F sanitize equals undefined, but note that if you try to do that, you, your system may not have it installed. So you may have to go out and get the, the lib UBSAN library installed depending, but I'm not going to tell you how to do that because it's different per system, but you could probably search for how to do it. Or, um, you could probably check your package manager for UB or, uh, yeah, UBSAN and see if you can find that but it's also very useful. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.